Hello guys, how are you? My name is Mark Roden. Welcome back to the channel. Really quick intro today because it's going to be a giant list. But today I'm doing my 30 favorite cars of all time. No, not just JDM cars, not just supercars, not just European cars, not just American muscle cars. Every car ever built, my 30 favorite of them ever built. This took me forever, but I cannot wait. It was a blast to do. So if you guys want to see like certain exact cars, you could be like, let me see your sedans. I could do that. But also guys, another thing I really want to elaborate on this video is to please comment down below your top 10 favorite cars ever, ever built. I really, really would like to see that. And I mean that seriously, I'm not just trying to get you to comment. I would love to see what your guys' top 10s are because even though I took like hours to figure out the correct list, I'd still probably missed a couple and it's really cool. So instead of commenting like first or like fire emojis, please let me know your guys' top 10 favorite cars ever built. Right, so I, I hope you guys got your popcorn because it's going to be a long list uh real quick i want to start by saying that every video every car is only going to get like 30 seconds of talking time and only one video in the background just so i can actually save time and i'm not keeping you here all day anyway guys let's get right into it in last place but it still is a very cool car if it's on my list number 30 is the honda s2000 which is going to get me a lot of hate since it isn't higher but i do love the car they just aren't my favorite one thing i do love is budget cars and these cars are really expensive when there's quite a bit of them out there they don't deserve to really be as expensive as they are they do look extremely good and i do love that they're rear wheel drive since most hondas aren't rear wheel drive and maybe i'll be able to buy one one day Number 29 is the Infiniti Q60, which Infiniti is just a sick brand in general, and these cars are like the best of the best from Infiniti. Uh, the body lines are amazing, and they're extremely fast while also being extremely luxurious, which is a great combo in my opinion. And you might think that it's not like super duper fast, but to me, it's pretty damn fast. They're also pretty underrated, which is something I've always loved in a car, so I just had to put it on my list. Number 28 is the Lexus LS400. I love the car, don't get me wrong, but I just think that there's way better options out there, which is why it's this low on the list. They also only came in automatic, which makes me very, very sad, but I understand you can always swap them out, and I will admit they are pretty damn cool once you get them to the right point, especially for the price. If you can manual swap this car, you have a 270 horsepower Japanese V8 in the in the engine. And that's that, that that makes me that makes me a happy camper. Number 27 is the Audi S5, which is a bit of a weird one since I'm not a big fan of all-wheel drive. And to be honest, I really don't like Audis, but they look just absolutely amazing in person. Like a video of these cars does not do them justice at all. I also got to ride in one one time and the supercharger wine was just out of this world. I, that might be biased that might be the reason why it's in my top 30 but even if it is i don't care i loved it when i was sitting in that passenger seat it was a sick ass car i wanted to put it higher on the list but due to the price and the fact that it's all wheel drive i just i just couldn't number 26 is the honda civic ek coupe which yes i do like the coupe better than the hatch since i don't know they just look like sportier to me their body lines flow better and I've, i'm gonna be honest with you I have never really liked hatches or wagons or anything like that. There's actually none on this list. Shh. I personally love how these cars are like the ultimate like tuner car. Like you can get so much power for so cheap out of one of them. And Civic as a whole would be one of my favorite cars. If they, if they were rear wheel drive, the EK Coupe would be in my top 10, like easily. Civic's engines are just amazing. And if they were rear wheel drive, I'd love them. Number 25 is the Subaru WRX STI blob eye which is easily my most favorite Subaru, especially WRX, and they are just amazing looking. And once again, they are all wheel drive, so they do have to stay this low on the list, but damn, are they freaking sexy, bro. They are just, they look awesome, especially with the, like the community around Subarus is amazing. It must be, feel so awesome to be a member of a community like that. And the noise that Subaru WRXs make is just awesome, especially for an inline four. They also happen to have one of the biggest aftermarket scenes for them, which is really cool. And this one is just my personal favorite. I just like the headlights the best. Number 24 is the Mazda Miata NA, which is cool. Don't get me wrong, but I just don't like how overhyped they are now. They are just not really worth your money anymore. And on top of that, I don't even know if I can fit in one. I've never actually tried to drive a Miata. I've sat in my friend's Miata before, but my head was hitting the ceiling. So I don't, my, the ceiling, the roof. So I don't know if it's actually like able for me to sit in it. On top of that, it's, it's 
extremely sick like i don't get me wrong i love the car but i just something happens with cars where like if i see a lot of them for me i get burnt out on them and it just like it kind of sucks and i see a lot of miatas number 23 is the mazda rx7 fb 1s which is so underrated like the fd is obviously the most popular but these cars they look super cool and they still come with a rotary but make extremely small amounts of horsepower actually as a matter of fact between you and me they only have a 1.1 liter engine which is hilarious like to, but honestly to combat that they also are extremely lightweight which i mean it balances out and they are rear wheel drive i would love to have one as a drift car one day Number 22 is the BMW M3 E92, which is just a masterpiece of a car since they are a BMW. But since they are a BMW, they are a little expensive. Like, I would love to own one one day, but I probably never will because I won't be able to bring myself to do it. Like, if I had the amount of money that I could spend on an E92, I, there's a lot of other cars that I'd rather buy for that money. So that I probably will never actually own one, but I love them, especially seeing them in person. Like, it just makes me happy, makes me smile. They do look really good and i would love to see one drifting because literally like nobody ever drifts these cars for some reason so if you have a drift e92 hit me up send me a video number 21 is the toyota sprinter truno or trano ae86 yes the initial d car the absolute drift missile which is not a drift missile anymore i think people forget the reason why everybody loved them the reason why everybody loved the a86 was because they were super duper cheap but now that they aren't though they are so expensive and it kind of ruined the whole aspect of it at least for me like it is still a cool car obviously since it made my number 21 but the fact that they're like over 10k now for a good one it just doesn't make it worth it for me number 20 just breaking into the top 20 barrier is the hyundai genesis coupe which yes i know you guys probably think this was going to be a lot higher because i talk about it all the time but if I'm being honest, I, the only reason why I talk about it all the time is because I always do budget car lists. And this car is a great budget car. Yes, I do still love the looks of it, but the other cars on this list, since I don't have a budget, are a bit cooler in my opinion. Still though, I would love to own one of these cars as a show car slash like daily driver. That would just be awesome. And hopefully that might be my next project car for the channel. Fingers crossed, but that's in like a year from now. So don't get like, don't get hype yet. Number 18 is a Nissan 300ZX two nissans in a row that's right baby and this is the z32 by the way not the z31 but i still do love the z31 as well it's just the z32 is a lot cooler in my opinion one thing i absolutely love is the target top on these cars it looks great and the fact that they are all wheel i mean rear wheel drive but unfortunately they do to be like one of the like one of the biggest pains in the asses when talking about like working on the engine bay but i kind of already understand that anyway because i have a 350z so it's already i already am expecting an Number 17 is the BMW M8, which I actually just learned about a couple months ago, and I have been in love with ever since. They look great. They're absolute beasts of cars, and the only thing I really don't like about them is how long the back end is. Like, it's, it's a very long car, but I can get over that since I have 600 horsepower. They're obviously extremely, extremely expensive, though, so I most likely will never own one, but it's, it's cool to dream, and this car is definitely a car that's dream car worthy. Number 16 is the Chevy Corvette C5, which is obviously a really fast car, but also a pretty damn cheap car, which is dope. And on top of that, they make for great drift cars, and I absolutely love drifting. Obviously, with that being said, this car is rear wheel drive, and that's another reason why it gets higher on my list. I would love to drift a Corvette one day, especially since they come stock with like with an LS. Like that's just awesome. It's one of my future build plans for the channel for sure. I would love to do it, especially the C5. It just the body lines work so well. I just I like the car. Number 15 is the Nissan Silady, which is an S13 Nissan, but it looks a lot different. It's like it's like the coupe S13 front end, but with the hatch S13 back end, and it comes from Japan. It's my favorite S13 for sure. The front end looks so good on these that I can't help but show some appreciation towards it. They also make for amazing drift cars, but you probably should just pick a normal S13 if that's what you're gonna do, because they're a lot cheaper. But if you are, if you got guap, then go for a Silady. I mean, it's it looks great. It will look great doing it. Number 14 is the BMW 850 CSI, a car that I never get to talk about, but I love it so freaking much. Like I don't I don't know why. Maybe it's the pop-ups, maybe it's the long body, but I just think it looks like art. Like it is it is crafted to perfection. Also, no one ever really speaks about these cars when they definitely should. They just look so amazing and I understand that like looks aren't everything, but they're also pretty fast, especially for the time that they were built. 
Number 13 is a Chevy Corvette C7. And I know we did just talk about a Corvette, but I think this one is a bit cooler. Obviously, since it's a newer model, the performance is a lot better, but I actually think the looks are a lot better too. And they're easily one of the best budget supercars out there. The only thing that I can complain about over this car, over the C5, is the fact that it obviously didn't come with pop-up headlights, but they made the headlights work really well. Like that's the reason why I didn't really like the C6. The headlights were weird. They didn't, they didn't do it for me, but the C7's headlights were amazing. Number 12 is the Ferrari F40, and I know I'm going to get hate for the fact that I'm going to put JDM cars higher than this car, but it just isn't my favorite, guys, okay? It's my list. It's my opinion. I love the F40. It's number 12 of my favorite cars in the world, and I'm a car guy, but it's just not my favorite. Obviously, I think it's super cool, and what it did for supercars was amazing, but I just can't follow cars for clout on my list and so fame aside it's still a really cool car like that spoiler it's amazing and those stock wheels are some of the coolest stock wheels ever but it just doesn't do it for me and here we are the top 10 and squeezing its way into the top 10 i'm super happy to put it here is the nissan 350z it's my personal car and boy did it live up to the hype i absolutely love this car and i couldn't complain about anything i can't put it any higher since i do like the rest a little bit better but like i love the 350z there's nothing that i would change on the car like the vq yeah it isn't the most reliable engine out there when talking like about boosting it and yes it isn't the lightest or fastest car around but i don't really care i love the car either way and it's got plenty of speed anyway number nine is a toyota supra a80 or the mark IV supra in the states and yes i know this is a little bit low for a supra because some people literally like pray to the mark IV supra every night before they go to bed but in my opinion the looks aren't really there the looks are still extremely good don't get me wrong but i just don't think they're like my favorite like i wouldn't i wouldn't go to like if i had an option to choose a bunch of the other cars on this list or the super a80 i mean i'm just saying i'm probably gonna pick the other ones all right obviously i know the engine is something out of this world but i never judge a car on just one thing it does a car and everything that it like comes together another thing that i really really value in a car is the looks and so that's why i put it number nine Number eight is the Nissan GTR R35, which has always been such a big deal for me. And if you asked me which car was my favorite like five years ago, I would have said this one easily. Over time though, I've seen them more and more in person and I kind of burnt myself out on them. Like I talked about before, it's kind of like Hot Pockets. Like I used to love Hot Pockets, I ate them all the time. And then I don't like them anymore because I ate them literally every day. But I still do think it's one of the, it is easily the best budget supercar out there. And it is a Nissan that has four seats and two turbos. The only bad part, another thing that I don't like about it is it's all wheel drive. Ow, ow. Number seven is the Evo 9, baby, which is kind of funny, but I think it belongs here. Everything on this car, in my opinion, is just well-rounded and good. Looks are amazing. Engine is pretty damn good. And even though it is all-wheel drive, which isn't my favorite, they're one of the best all-wheel drive cars ever built. Okay, I, I said it. It also adds to it since they've been discontinued. So they're extremely, extremely rare now. And the looks on it are just 10 times better than a Subaru. I'm sorry, Subi guys. You guys are going to kill me, but I just, I, I like them a lot better. Numero six is the BMW E30, but not the M3 one. I know that's gonna sound crazy, but let me explain. It's, yes, it's an unpopular opinion, but for some reason, I just like the body lines and how simple the car looks when it's not an M3. I love the looks of these super duper ultra much, and I just think that BMW, when they added like that little wide body kit and the little spoiler on it, they didn't ruin it. The M3 still looks great for what it is, but it looks more race car-y, and I've never really loved the looks of like an old, a race car. it's hard to explain but i don't know man i just like the simple classy look of the e30 that isn't an m3 and here we are the top five and i bet i'm going to shock you with a bunch of these especially the next two but number five is the lamborghini murcielago i bet you didn't expect a supercar to be in my top five but it sure is if there's one car that stuck with me as a dream car throughout my whole life it's this one i still remember playing need for speed hot pursuit 2 on the little gamecube in my living room back in the day when the dogs were barking and i was in second grade and i fell in love with the car ever since lambo has been one of my favorite car brands out there it, it definitely my favorite supercar brand out there and I, the mercy lago played a huge role in that it, it is it is a masterpiece of a car number four is a another supercar but it's a bit of an oddball i guarantee you didn't see this one coming but the mclaren 720s is a beautiful machine that literally nobody talks about for some reason when it comes to supercars it takes a certain kind of supercar to make me obsess over it 
and i don't know what it is about the 720 but they got it they got it right okay they did they were doing something correct over at mclaren when they made this car i love it more than any other supercar ever built for sure it's just so gosh darn nice and it's extremely fast and actually isn't like well it's obviously a lot of money but it's not that much compared to the competition here we are third place the toyota soarer or lexus sc300 which is the name of the american version of the sore and once again this one i don't know what i'm thinking but they're they're cool man all right like they're i like them <laughs> it's just i like them a lot this one easily could be a phase since i kind of like just learned about him a couple months ago but even if they do fade in my thoughts they'll definitely still be in my top 10 for life i i like it it's it's cool i, I don't really know why i just love it like it's just it just makes me such a happy guy when i see one whoa curveball out of left field number two is actually a tie so technically there's 31 cars on this list baby boy but 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 i literally just can't decide okay i can't decide I, I tried for so long and i can't decide between the two and it is the honda nsx na1 and the nissan sylvia s15 let's talk about the s15 first the looks are unreal i mean hands down they're easily the best looking nissan ever built on top of that it's got the sr20 and it's the best version of the sr20 which everybody loves and can do just about anything you want it to another thing i really cherish on a car is its lights or taillights and the s15 taillights and headlights are just perfect for the nxx however i love it for different reasons yes i think it looks amazing i mean you show a non-car guy an nsx and they're going to think it's a ferrari but what makes me love the nsx is how different it is it's a rear wheel drive two-seater mid-engine honda that's never heard of which makes me super duper happy and i obviously love the looks of the car as well it is beautiful taillights amazing pop-up freaking headlights get out of here get out of town you're 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 fibbing seals problem pretty early like you can you can get it up there but even if the engine was terrible it would still be my favorite car for the looks alone it is perfect i would i would change things like i would change things on the car but only because the aftermarket parts for the car make it even cooler which i didn't think was possible like i said before one thing i love on cars is the lights and taillights and the lights and taillights on this car are perfect nothing about the looks of this car i would change from the factory at least well there we go mark's 30 favorite cars ever built who would have who would have thought that this would be the next video that would be on mark's channel not me but here it is anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed and keep in mind please let me know your top 10 favorite cars ever down below i i'm, I'm actually i'm genuinely serious about that like please let me know i want to hear what other people think are cool in this world because it's crazy we all have different mindsets like you can think a fiat 500 is your favorite car okay and i would never ever put that even in my top 50 so let me know what yours is thank you so much for watching keep in mind smooth stands hats shirts and shorts are coming very very soon so be up to date on that please like comment and subscribe that's for donnie and have a nice night